Hello world, welcome to the 33rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to start your own chatbot using a Python library called NLTK, which is short for the Natural Language Toolkit. I wrote my own chatbot in 2015 using C++ and it took hundreds of lines of code, four files, um, each with 200 plus uh, lines of code. Well, someone did all that hard work for us and put it into this NLTK library. And now you can set up your own chatbot in less than 10 lines of code. Now, 10 lines of code just to do one simple answer and response. You're going to need hundreds of lines to make a real chatbot. So first, I'm going to show you a basic chatbot that you can set up if you're a beginner. And then we'll quickly go through the code. And then after that, I'll show you my chatbot for more intermediate programmers. So let's check out our um, basic typing based chatbot. So we're going to run this code. It's going to come up with this little um, thing, which means we can type. So let's start off with saying, hey. OK, it says sup. Um, you can say, what's your name? It says, my name is Shane. Hi, Shane. Hello. What's your name? You say, my name is Brandon. Hi, Brandon. You can say, what else do you want to say? Are you a robot? Yes. I'm a digital assistant named Shane. All right, that's pretty simple, right? So to do this, first you go to your command prompt, and then you type in pip install NLTK. Next, we're going to import this from NLTK.chat.util. Import chat with a capital C and reflections with a lowercase r. Then you're going to create this right here, pairs. And we'll do a starting bracket and an ending bracket. And then you're going to add your script. So this is the syntax. So the first part is the user input. So I typed in, hello, Shane, this straight bar, or hi, Shane, right? So this gives it options. Then you do a comma, and then another square brackets. And then you say what the response will be. And the code automatically detects what it will find. So it automatically does this. It changes it all to lowercase. And it takes out punctuation and what's called stop words. So the next example is my name is in parentheses dot asterisk parentheses. So what that does is it tells somebody already coded it where it says save this, whatever they put, and respond back. So the first time it sees the dot asterisk is this percent one, and it's going to respond automatically with whatever you typed in. So as you can see, we wrote, my name is Brandon, and it said, hi, Brandon. So you can also do different responses, and it will automatically choose a random one. So in the beginning, we said, hi, and it said, sup. And then you could say, what's your name? So this is an example of saying whatever's in here, and it's going to respond with my name is Shane. So this is pretty simple. I gave you a bunch of options. My real script is quite longer than this. And that is how you set up a basic chatbot. So that's a great start, and you can find a 100 tutorials showing off this same exact code. But what if you wanted to take it further and make your own chatbot? Well, to do that, you have to edit the actual library. Now, warning here, make sure you know what you're doing. And as since I'm barely an intermediate programmer, I don't know the full ramifications of what I'm about to show you in editing the pre-made files. But I want to make it my own. So I did want to edit the pre-made files. So to do that yourself, first you need to find the NLTK library. So when you use pip install, it's going to automatically install here in your Python 3.7. Then you go to Site Packages, 
with a lowercase s. Then you go to this, uh, you're going to find NLTK, the folder, right? NLTK from NLTK.chat. So then you go into chat dot UTIL. Then you find that one. Then you double click on that and it's going to open this. And this is all the work somebody else did. So when you see up here it says copyright the NLTK project. This is the author Stephen Bird. So Stephen Bird thank you very much for this. And this is based on an ELIZA implementation from Joe Strout. So ELIZA for anybody who knows about chatbots is one of the originals. So it was created quite a while ago. And here, somebody has already done all the hard work for you. So I've made my own edits, so I'm going to uncomment that out. So first, I want to track which day we started this conversation to start building a memory. Then, like you've seen in plenty of videos, I want to voice activate everything. So I have implemented Shane hears, which you have seen in a bunch of videos. And then I want Shane to speak it too. So I want to be able to talk to Shane. I want him to respond back. So I've made those edits in the actual file. Now let's run this again and see how it works. Hi. Sup. What's your name? My name is Shane. Hello, Shane. Hello, what's your name? My name is Brandon. Hi, Brandon. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Are you a robot? Yes. I'm a digital assistant named Shane. Who created you? I was created by Brandon Jacobson, but we were all created by God. So, there you go. We have our own chatbot where we can talk to. So you can go into that util file and you can create whatever you want, whatever kind of chatbot you wanted. So my plans are to Write, keep a log of all the conversations, because if we did something that we haven't programmed, it's going to say none or whatever I want it to say. And then anytime somebody does not, it does not recognize it, then I need to program that in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can see when new videos are out. Like this video and share with your friends. Goodbye, world.